Children, you have a visitor. Don't trust Mrs. Coulter. Mrs. Coulter is a control freak. Tell me. She's Lyra's mom, but Lyra never knew her. Oh. <laughs> Miss Coulter is behind the child separations at Wolfanger. How lovely to see you. You have quite cheered me up. She's made her way up. She's made herself one of the leads of the Magisterium. You just need to show some strength. She's become one of the most powerful people in the world. Mrs. Colte is just shrouded in mystery. She is intrigued and curious and excited about what else is out there. First impressions are vital for Mrs. Coulter. Lyra, this is Mrs. Coulter. She may be of some interest to you. What you look like and how you enter a room. Hello. I am not used to the grandeur of this at all. <laughs> how you use your image. You'll have to tell me which knife and fork to use. I don't want to make a fool of myself. It's, again, a tool of manipulation. She has to attract not only men and women, but kids. Are you a female scholar? You seem surprised. Well, female scholars don't dress like you. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. She looks amazing, and she doesn't, and she loves it. She loves striding in a room with everyone looking at her. Hello, Eliza. You know him? Of course. Now come, Larry. For women, it's really interesting because it's sort of about objectification in some ways, and how she uses that to her advantage. The clothes you wear determine the way people see you. Season one, you're like, oh, she's nice. I like her. I think. Blue is quite your colour. Did you know that? She's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's glamorous. And then, like, five minutes later, you see she's burning little kids' letters that they're sending to their parents. You're slightly frightened of this woman and intimidated by her. We have yet to understand what is your precise role in all of this. My precise role. Through the character of Mrs. Coulter, both Philip and our adaptation show a lot of different depths and levels and ambiguities. We cannot allow this woman to take control. Ruth plays her so brilliantly. You know, I look around this room and I see failure. One of the great things that Ruth Wilson has brought to the character of Mrs. Coulter is she's made her powerful, she's made her dominating, <laughs> she's made her clever. When you're working with her, you look into her eyes, you see there's always something going on in her mind. I vow now never to fail again. Philip had always written both sort of Snow White and The Wicked Witch, sort of the yin and yang. She, he'd written, you know, Miss Honey. You must trust me. I trust you. And Miss Trunchpools. We're going to have an adventure together. We're going to go on a voyage. So I kind of had to get that in a character <laughs> and uh, switch between the two. If there's anyone that's sort of her companion apart from Monkey, it would be Boreal. Your new security team are rigorous. Sadly, they're necessary. Egyptians, I hear. You know, in terms of how they negotiate the world. Their relationship is like that. It's two people who will run the world. She's his queen. Where have you been hiding? <laughs> Away. In the first season, you see them interacting slightly, and you know they're sort of cohorts somehow. They're all about image. They like the way they're perceived in the world. You need to look so pleased with yourself. <laughs> You're late. I've been busy. Together, they're a power couple. Where? Oxford. She knows what he wants. She knows that he has a soft spot for her. He has this kind of love for her, which has been an unrequited love for quite some time. And so she'll use him in order to get information, use what she needs. There's an element of, like I say, companionship. Mrs. Coulter's desires aren't clear. It, it, there seems to be such a, 
a desire for her to have her child. And you think, is that a motherly instinct? Is it a power instinct? She's torn between her love for Lyra and her love for power. The whole path through the three books for Mrs. Coulter, she is the woman who triumphs, but she's the woman who is kept back all of the time. What you see in this season, she's broken free of all the sort of constraints that she's built around her.